So, here we are again on another weekend for the test server. Um, this weekend we are testing uh, the next evolutionary step in the new Dash robot, which every time I have tested it so far, it's been an amazing uh, mech. Um, today they uh, changed the cooldown time on the Dash ability, and uh, they... Did a couple of other minor tweaks too. They changed the speed. Uh, they increased the armor component, I believe, a little bit. And the other thing that they did was uh, they instituted the new uh, guidelines for the auto cannons, or you know, molots and punishers, as everybody knows them. Um, they have increased the firing rate substantially on the new auto cannons. Well, not new, but I mean, you know the new system shows uh, a higher increased rate which uh, they don't specify exactly how fast it is but um, after three seconds the higher firing rate kicks in and does not stop unless you let go of the trigger or unless you run out of bullets so um, and I did some math on this uh, this is a pretty um, pretty nasty setup so I'll show you what I've got here um, the first mech that I have is the new Dash Mark II prototype, uh, 150k max at 12, uh, 45k speed. They call, they're still calling the Dash ability the jump ability, but it's really a Dash. Uh, this one's got three Orkins on it. This one has three Tumulas on it. This is one of my griffins. Uh, I decided to put in two griffins and three of the new dash bots. This griffin has all punishers with it. Um, and I did the math out. Um, inside of 500 meters, assuming 100% accuracy, your uh, griffin with punishers with this setup will do 330 points of damage. Now, obviously, the farther out you go within that 500 meters, uh, the less your accuracy is. However, I've already tried one game with it, and I found that within 350 meters, which is basically the same distance as a Terran or Orkins, uh, it basically shreds apart any mech on the field within seconds. Uh, and you guys will get to see that because I'm going to show that to you. Uh, the other mech I have here is the Dash with the Terran setup. And then lastly, I have a Griffin with the Molot setup. Essentially, these are the things that we're going to be testing today. And also, uh, they adjusted some spawn points on some of the maps. So hopefully, uh, we'll jump onto those maps and be able to get to see some of the new spawn points or the adjusted spawn points on some of the maps. I believe Shenzhen is one of them. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. However, so here we go. I'm actually going to drop my um, Griffin with my Punishers first because of this map. Now remember, the Punishers have a range of 500 meters, but I want to be within 350 for it to really do any kind of solid damage. Um, as I said, uh, I've learned after doing a few of these videos that uh, I always do one game prior to me doing a, a video so because when you sign on to the test server you have to go through the whole process of you know it instructs you on how to play the game as if you've never played before and and that's kind of a pain in the ass so what you're seeing is actually my second run on a video now see how much faster those molots are hitting my griffin they're, they're pretty significant in their speed. Now, you watch. These these Punishers are going to shred through any anything. Whatever this mech is that's coming up, I'm going to shred through it. Or, you know, I'm going to die. I'm going to drop my Molots now. Look at this fucking moron. I don't understand why somebody would do this. I just don't get it. People are fucking idiots. Anyway, they make guys like me me look like geniuses. 
So the Molots have a range of 800 meters. Uh, so I'm going to try and close with this guy and then see if I can get him. I believe that's a Leo with uh, Molots. So I've noticed that the Molots do... They do shred through, especially now with the higher firing rate, but it still takes like a full clip to go through those ansiles with the Molots. Now, with the Punishers, I really don't have to use a full clip to go through that thing. Now, on the first game that I played, my first test run, I scored 900,000 points, mainly using my Griffin with Punishers. I took out four mechs with that thing before I died, and I was standing on the spawn. I know that Lancelot was going to shred me apart, so I'm going to regroup here. And this is like the fourth or fifth time in a row that I've run on the test server, and I've noticed that uh, the buttons are much bigger. So, I don't know if that's going to be like a thing that they're doing, but uh, I kind of like it. Now watch, see how we shred through this carnage. The shield goes down pretty quick. Oh, I want to get that fury. What's that guy doing down there? Yeah, ain't gonna do me any good. I gotta kill that fury. Or he's gonna kill me. Alright, so let's take a look at the dash now. I didn't even touch that and it automatically selected it. That was weird. Anyway, so this is the Orkin setup on the dash. Um, as you can see, the uh, cooldown time significantly increased from the last time we did a test on this um, 12 seconds the last time we did it it was only eight seconds so they increased it a lot um, and I don't know if that was through whatever they had found as far as like the testing was concerned or whatever but um, uh, you don't really notice it that much to be honest you don't really that guy didn't even see me I thought he could see me it was back to me. I like how you're just able to glide up no matter what, uh, whether it's up or down. Um, see, it's like a 12 second cooldown time, but you don't even really notice it. Um, it's not that bad. I, I don't mind it, to be honest.
This Lancelot's going to be in for a hurt as long as I can get myself recharged here. Well, maybe not so much now. Alright, so let's go with the Terran setup now. Uh, I rather like the Terran setup on this dash. The Orkin setup is pretty good, but uh, I, I like the Terran setup. I think it uh, performs a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> it's basically like a Fujin. Uh, the only difference is that uh, this mech can glide or dash. Uh, I think this mech is uh, a lot more maneuverable. Uh, I think it performs a lot better, and I believe it has more armor. Plus, it also has the Ansile shield on top of that, too. So, uh, I think overall, I think this mech will definitely be, like, the next big thing. Again, the only issue is that you're going to have to deal with mechs that uh, are uh, like the Carnage Double Zeuses. Those seem to have a lot of impact on these mechs. Yeah. And then you can now, you can kind of see the Tumulus. Tumulus set up here. Now, I actually really like this Tumula setup. Ninja has the uh, the dock, which uh, originally I thought it was a pretty cool mech. And it is still a pretty cool mech, I believe. In the sense that, uh, you know, you got the four Tumulas, which is pretty cool. I mean, you got those four Tumulas, and they're doing a pretty significant amount of damage. But uh, at the end of the day, you can only fire two of them at a time. Now, granted, you can fire two, flip two, fire two again, but with this one, you're just firing three all at once. Uh, so, there you have it. Let's see if I can do another one and show you guys what the Punishers look like. 